So for those waiting for the MacBook Air, I come bearing great news because apparently you could see this as early as next week according to Mr. Mark Gurman. So obviously we just got the iPhone 16e and apparently up next is the MacBook Air that's going to release via a press release and inventory has significantly wound down for the current model and so that usually does suggest a new model is incoming. Now obviously there's no way Apple is going to have an event for this MacBook because number one, it's a very minor refresh but also number two, it would be way too last minute to announce an event and so this definitely is getting a press release. Now, whether we're going to see an event style video alongside the press release, I'm unsure about. I actually don't think there's going to be any video because there's not much new with these MacBooks. And so it might just be a press release and a simple site refresh. But yes, for those who have been waiting for this MacBook Air, it is fantastic news that we are finally getting these new models. And by the way, whilst I will get into the expected upgrades later in the video, I do want to mention that longer battery life is now another expected upgrade with these M4 models, which is nice because we haven't seen an upgrade with the battery life life on the MacBook Airs since the launch of the M1. Now let's move on to benchmarks. There are Geekbench listings for the M4 MacBook Air and guess what guys, you would not see this coming but the MacBook Air performs exactly the same as the M4 iPad Pro. Whoa, who'd have figured? Jokes aside, we know how fast the M4 already is so it's not exactly exciting news. But this Geekbench result listing was recorded on February 23rd with a machine that has a 10 core GPU and 24 gigs of RAM. By the way, this machine was running a special build of macOS Sequoia 15.2. And do remember back in December, there were references found of M4 MacBook Airs in 15.2 codes. So that does confirm these benchmarks are legit. So what are the numbers you may be wondering? You're not wondering? Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. The GP Metal score was 55,516, which is on par with the 13-inch iPad Pro, but worse than the M4 MacBook Pro because, do remember that has a fan, the Air does not. The Metal score of the M3 model was around 48 to 49,000, so that's a decent improvement, but it's not groundbreaking. But you know what would be groundbreaking though? If you click that subscribe button, of course, it would bring you the latest about Apple right to subscription box. So please consider it. It would be appreciated. Join the Saran Bike gang now. Now, whilst the M4 MacBook Air will be a chipset refresh for the most part, I do expect some other changes as we saw with the MacBook Pro. So for example, we can expect a center stage camera, which would be a nice change considering the camera is now gonna be able to follow you around as you move and you get access to desk view if you're presenting anything. The nano texture coating, I'm not sure if the Air's gonna get, but considering the base iMac has this option, maybe the base MacBook Air also will follow suit. I do expect new colors though, because we've now had two generations of MacBook Air with the same set of colors. And so now that Apple's reusing this shelf for the third time, we can finally expect some new shades. Hopefully something more vibrant, because the Air should just be a fun looking Mac. I've had enough of boring, serious looking Macs, we have the pros for that, it's time for some colour. But of course, the big news will be 16 gigs of RAM as standards, which obviously is already the case with the M3 and M2 models. But regardless, that is a huge game changer for these new models, and I'm assuming once the M4 model launches, we should see the M3 model drop to 999. However, do remember German did say this low inventory of the M3 models but it would be weird for them to phase that out and then still keep selling the M2. Now that's everything about the MacBook Air, but let's delve into other Macs we should see somewhat soon. So the next model to get refreshed is the Mac Studio. According to Mark Gurman, this was initially on track to launch with the MacBook Air, but it's now been pushed back to June. However, I do want to call out Gurmy because he actually said the Mac Studio would launch during mid-2025 before. So where exactly is the delay here? Anyway, I think it makes sense to launch this at WWDC. That's where the last model launched. And if you think about it, a lot of creative professionals and developers, aka nerds, are going to be buying these. And so they're the ones watching WWDC in the first place. Now this is a desktop, but Apple is going to be reusing the shelf for the third time. So it would be nice to see a space black option, but considering the Mac mini did not get any new color options, I do have my doubts about that. But hey, at the very least, the SD card reader moving to the front like the Mac mini would be a nice change. Moving to the Mac Pro, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we have leaks that once again, Apple's having issues with producing an extreme chipset for the higher end Macs. So way back when we had leaks about an M2 Extreme chipset coming to a future Mac Pro, which would essentially be two M2 Ultras stuck together using some insane glue Apple has 
However, Apple then ran out of this glue and they couldn't stick these chips together. And so as a result, we had a pretty underwhelming Apple Silicon refresh where it had the same exact chassis as before with the same performance as the smaller Mac Studio whilst costing more and really only offering expandable storage as the only upgrade. But when I say expandable, you had to pay for Apple's expensive storage modules so it was pretty useless. So all in all, this was a piss poor update guys. And so many of us were hoping with the M4 generation of Macs, maybe we could finally get the M4 Extreme, which based on the M4 Max could offer up to 64 CPU cores and 160 GPU cores. That's many, many cores. And so that would offer mind blowing levels of performance. But unfortunately it seems that once again, Apple's decided to ditch these plans. According to the information, Apple wants to free up engineering resources for an AI server chips instead, since Apple intelligence is the next big thing. And so for the time being, plans to make an extreme chipset have been canceled. Now, John Gruber, who's another journalist, had made a good point that Apple starts development on their chips quite early on. And so whatever was dropped right now might not be the M4 or the M5 Extreme. And we may still see an M4 Extreme later this year because Apple's already finished developing that. I hope that's the case because as I said, the Mac Pro is in a bit of an awkward spot since it currently does not offer enough differences to justify the much higher price compared to a Mac Studio. And now let's go through the comments. So we have a comment from Wilhelm who says, the screen has to have a better resolution. And to be honest, I disagree with this. I think the resolution currently is fine on the MacBook Air. I know some want promotion and maybe down the line we do get that. But as it stands, the screen does the job. But of course, down the line, we should see OLED or mini LED on the MacBook Air. So the next comment is from Liam who says, no fan. Okay, no fan then buys MacBook Pro. I'm guessing you're concerned about the lack of a fan in the air, but do not worry because I've been editing on a MacBook Air for many years which is a fanless machine and I've had zero issues when it comes to long-term performance. And so yeah, you should not be worried about this being fanless. Don't buy the Pro just because it has a fan. Unless you want the better display and the ports, you're better off getting the MacBook Air. So Cosa Nostra says, okay, my dilemma, I'm visiting US from March 1st to 17th. Do you guys think I'll get a chance to buy the MacBook Air M4? Now, yes, according to new rumors, you should actually be able to buy the MacBook Air. I'm assuming you'll be able to order it next week and then the following week it should be available in stores. And so, yeah, you should be able to buy it. So Saj says they should give 120 hertz. And yes, I know many techies do want ProMotion on the MacBook Air. I'm not too vast about this, but I understand people want that battery smooth refresh rate. And I do think eventually down the line we should get it, but for the time being, the display is not changing on the MacBook Air. I think we'll see display upgrades with the next redesign. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And thank you for watching.